The 82nd United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, composed of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from January 3, 1951, to January 3, 1953, during the last two years of the second administration of U.S. President Harry S. Truman. The apportionment of seats in this House of Representatives was based on the 16th Census of the United States in 1940. Both chambers had a Democratic majority. Major events March 29, 1951, Ethel and Julius Rosenberg were convicted of conspiracy to commit espionage. On April 5 they were sentenced to receive the death penalty. April 11, 1951, U.S. President Harry S. Truman relieved General Douglas MacArthur of his Far Eastern commands. September 5, 1951, Treaty of San Francisco, in San Francisco, California, 48 nations signed a peace treaty with Japan to formally end the Pacific War. October 24, 1951, U.S. President Harry Truman declared an official end to war with Germany. November 10, 1951, direct dial coast-to-coast -coast telephone service began in the United States. December 31, 1951, the Marshall Plan expired after distributing more than $13.3 billion USD in foreign aid to rebuild Europe. March 29, 1952, U.S. President Harry S. Truman announced that he will not seek re-election. June 19, 1952, the special forces created. July 25, 1952, Puerto Rico became a Commonwealth of the United States, an unincorporated organized territory, with the ratification of its constitution. November 4, 1952, United States presidential election, 1952, Republican Dwight D. Eisenhower defeated Democrat Adlai Stevenson November 4, 1952, National Security Agency founded. <laughs> Major legislation October 10, 1951, Mutual Security Act, ch. 479, 65 Stat. 373 June 27, 1952, Immigration and Nationality Act McCarran-Walter Act, Pub. L. 82-414 July 14, 1952, McGuire Act, Pub. L. 82-542, 15 U.S.C. § 42 a. July 16, 1952, Veterans Readjustment Assistance Act, Pub. L. 82-550 July 16, 1952, Federal Coal Mine Safety Act Amendments of 1952, Pub. L. 82-552 July 16, 1952, Wire Fraud Act of 1952, Pub. L. 82-555 Topic. Constitutional amendments February 27, 1951, 22nd Amendment to the United States Constitution, setting a term limit for election and overall time of service to the office of President of the United States, was ratified by the requisite number of states then 36 to become part of the Constitution. Topic. Treaties. March 20, 1952, Treaty of San Francisco ratified. Topic: Party summary. Topic: Senate. Topic: House of Representatives. Democratic 235 majority Republican 199 Independent 1 TOTAL 435 Topic Leadership Topic Senate 
President of the Senate, Albin W. Barclay, D. President pro tempore, Kenneth McKellar, D. Topic: Majority Democratic Party. Majority Leader, Ernest McFarland. Majority Whip, Lyndon Johnson. Caucus Secretary, Brian McMahon. Topic: Minority Republican Party. Minority Leader, Kenneth S. Wary, until January 8, 1952. Styles Bridges, from January 8, 1952. Minority Whip, Leverett Sultanstall. Conference Chairman, Eugene Milliken. Republican Conference Secretary, Milton Young. National Senatorial Committee Chair, Owen Brewster. Policy Committee Chairman, Robert A. Taft. House of Representatives Speaker, Sam Rayburn, D. Majority Democratic Party Majority Leader, John W. McCormick Majority Whip, J. Percy Priest Democratic Caucus Chairman, Jerry Cooper Democratic Campaign Committee Chairman, Michael J. Kirwan <inaudible> Minority Republican Party Minority Leader, Joseph W. Martin, Jr. Minority Whip, Leslie C. Ahrens Republican Conference Chairman, Clifford R. Hope <inaudible> Caucuses House Democratic Caucus Senate Democratic Caucus Members Senate Senators are popularly elected statewide every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term ended with this Congress, facing re-election in 1952. Class II meant their term began in the last Congress, facing re-election in 1954. And Class III meant their term began in this Congress, facing re-election in 1956. House of Representatives The names of members of the House of Representatives are preceded by their district numbers. Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of this Congress. Senate Topic <laughs> House of Representatives Topic <laughs> 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 Committees Lists of committees and their party leaders, for members House and Senate of the committees and their assignments, go into the official congressional directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link two links. In the directory after the pages of Terms of Service, you will see the committees of the Senate, House standing with subcommittees, select and special and joint and after the committee pages, you will see the House, Senate committee assignments in the directory. On the committees section of the House and Senate in the official congressional directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side shows the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. <inaudible> <inaudible> Joint committees Atomic Energy Conditions of Indian Tribes special. Defense Production Disposition of Executive Papers Economic Immigration and Nationality Policy Legislative Budget The Library Navajo Hopi Indian Administration 
Printing Railroad retirement legislation Reduction of non-essential federal expenditures Taxation Employees Legislative branch agency directors Architect of the Capitol, David Lynn Attending Physician of the United States Congress, George Calver Controller General of the United States, Lindsay C. Warren Librarian of Congress, Luther H. Evans Public Printer of the United States, John J. Davini Topic. Senate Chaplain, Frederick Brown Harris Methodist. Parliamentarian, Charles Watkins Secretary, Leslie Biffle Sergeant-at-Arms, Joseph C. Duke Topic. House of Representatives Chaplain, Bernard Brascamp, Presbyterian Clerk, Ralph R. Roberts Doorkeeper, William Mosley Fishbait Miller Parliamentarian, Louis Deschler Postmaster, Finnis E. Scott Reading Clerks, N. A. R. and N. A. D. Sergeant-at-Arms, Joseph H. Callahan See also United States elections, 1950 elections leading to this Congress United States Senate elections, 1950 United States House of Representatives elections, 1950 United States elections, 1952 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States presidential election, 1952 United States Senate elections, 1952 United States House of Representatives elections, 1952